meteorologist Sarah Gannon. We wanted to take a quick look at that allergy report here. As you can see on your screen, trees are at a high level here tonight. As for ragweed, mold, dust, and grasses, those are all low levels. So that's a quick look there at your allergy forecast. We also want to start off our 6 o'clock broadcast tonight with our Garden Gallery winner. This is our fourth winner of the season this year, Linda and Ray from Rochester, congratulations. You are tonight's Garden Gallery winner with some beautiful pink hibiscus. Already so happy here with the springtime weather. So congratulations, Linda and Ray. You can head on down to Haley Lighting here in Rochester. Pick up your $10 gift card for Haley Lighting, and you can use that on their at their home decor section. A lot of cute little gifts there to use that $10 on. So uh, congrats to Linda and Ray. They're tonight's winners. And folks at home, it's easy to get involved with Garden Gallery. Just take a picture of your garden and send it in to garden at khdc.com. You can send it via email. And make sure to include your name and where the photo was taken. And if you want to include the flower type, let us know. We love seeing all those beautiful flowers out here. You can also uh, submit those photos on Facebook to our KDC. DC Weather Photo Community Group there. Use the hashtag Garden Gallery so it's a little easier for us to find when it comes time to picking those winners. A beautiful day to get outside. Finally starting to see a couple rays there of that sunshine. Those, that blue sky is starting to peer through. We've been seeing some cloudy conditions throughout the area today. Looking ahead though to some clearing skies later on for tonight. We're currently at uh, 68 degrees here in Rochester. You can see behind us with your Lewis Not Alive camera there from Signal Hill. Winds a bit breezy out of the west northwest about 12 miles per hour. Those winds have been staying sustained about 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts nearing 20 miles per hour at times. Temperatures have just been fantastic. So comfortable today. A good day to have the windows open and just kind of let that air circulate in and out of the house. Area wider temperatures here today have been holding into those mid upper 60s, some low 70s even in parts of our area. Heading into the rest of tonight, clouds will continue to clear, expecting those clearing skies here after, especially after midnight tonight. Looking at a little taste of some summer weather as we move into your Friday, even into Saturday. Saturday. However, keeping an eye on some rain chances between Saturday and Tuesday. So a couple opportunities for a little bit more moisture back in the area. Taking a look outside from your future track radar, still looking at a bit of some cloud cover, especially off on our western edge there. Look at that cloud cover to continue here for the next few hours. As I mentioned, after midnight, we'll start to see some clearer conditions there for the region. There's that cold front that brought us some cooler weather. That's now pushing off to the east. High pressure has been dominating the upper Midwest throughout today, pushing out that cold front, but also giving us some nice comfortable weather through today. As it will look to bring up up temperatures climbing into those low 80s by Friday and Saturday, mid 70s on the way for Sunday into Monday. As we head towards the middle of next week, temperatures cooling just a bit. We'll be looking to be back more seasonal values there into those upper 60s. Timing things out here for the rest of tonight. Clouds continuing to pull out of the area by about midnight, looking at those clear conditions. We'll see a bit of a change in our wind direction as we wake up early Friday morning. Temperatures comfortable into those low 50s. Winds will be out of the south. That will really help usher in some nice warm air for the area in the afternoon, allowing those temperatures to climb into those low 80s. Future track trying to hint at maybe a stray shower Friday evening. I think the better chance lies uh, as we move closer into early next week. Looking ahead then for Saturday, more warmth on the way as temperatures once again climb into those low 80s. Some stray shower and thunderstorm chances uh, Saturday into Sunday as a frontal boundary passes through. Better opportunity though I think moves in Monday and into Tuesday with some isolated shower and thunderstorm chances. Clouds continue to decrease overnight with temperatures in those low 50s. We're looking at low 80s for highs tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine and warmth throughout the area. Here's that 10 day forecast looking to see a couple more rain opportunities through the area. I think our better chance is Monday into Tuesday and a little change in those temperatures. Low 80s to uh, upper 60s. A little something for everybody, right? Yep, absolutely. Thanks, Sarah. Over